Hi, I'm Tina from nailandrocket.com, a costume and fashion company here in Hollywood, California. Today I'm going to show you how to recycle old candles into brand new ones using everyday household objects. The reason I came up with this idea was that I was actually moving house and came across a whole cupboard full of old discarded candles where the wicks had died, but the wax was perfectly good and seemed a shame to throw away. I went online and googled how to make candles and came across a lot of experts talking about temperatures, different types of waxes, expensive equipment and going to craft stores, none of which I had time to do. So I came up with this very simple method for recycling them using simple objects. Okay, the first thing that you want to do is cover the table with newspaper. Uh, this avoids horrible messes. Just put a few good layers. I've got white paper over the newspaper here, but make sure you have plenty of newspaper so that if you spill wax, it's an easy clean up. What we're gonna to need to do this is a collection of old candles. Um, you can see this one, the wick has completely died. I can't dig it out, but there's a lot of wax left. Uh, selection of old household molds. Um, here I've got an old glass, an old butter dish, a cup, a bowl. Uh, you can pretty much use anything as long as it's smooth and you want to make sure that the base is smaller than the rim. Sometimes you, you may see a straight glass like this and think that it's straight, but in actual fact, when you come to try and remove the candle, you realize the rim is minutely smaller than the base and then you can't get the candle out. Uh, an old saucepan like this, once you use it for this, you don't want to use it for anything else, so just make sure it's an old saucepan. Some cooking spray, I use olive oil cooking spray. Um, some household string, any old type will do. Uh, and then you want something to balance on the rim of the glass to keep the wick straight. I use these skewers, but you could use a pencil or anything. I mean, essentially, this is what's going to happen. Uh, finally, um, something to anchor it into the base of the glass. You can use an old button with a shank, or you could just get some loose change, um, which is what I do. Wrap the string around it and wrap it with aluminium foil. That's all you need. The next thing you need to do is obviously melt your wax. Put your candle in your saucepan. You want to keep this on a very low heat because it does spit if you keep it high. So just put it on a very low heat and it melts quite quickly. Another thing to watch is if you have a tall candle like this one, you want to watch it very carefully because if it tips over, then you get wax all over the cooker and it's got not good news. So while the wax is melting, I'm going to show you how to prepare the moulds. So the first thing that you want to do is spray your mould with the olive oil spray. Make sure it's well covered. There's one. Uh, we'll use this butter dish over here. Just make sure it's well sprayed inside. So the next thing you want to do is prepare your wick. Take your ball of string and you cut off quite a long piece. You can always cut it back afterwards. I've got two pennies here, just wrap it around the pennies a couple of times and then take, take a piece of aluminium foil and enclose the string inside so that it's like a mini weight essentially. Just like that. Put the weight into the glass, taking one of your skewers, which you can then wrap the string around and tie a knot. And you want to make sure that obviously it's in the middle, but you need to tighten up the string so that the wick stays straight. This takes a few little tries, but um, you want the string to be taut when the stick is resting on top of the glass. There we go. Simple as that. There you have it. Let's take your old wicks out. I'm just using this stick to dig them out. Um, if you don't want them to go into your new candles. Dig them out and discard them. 
and then you're ready to pour your wax into your mold. And you don't have to worry about the glass being ruined, it cleans up really well afterwards with just some detergent in soapy water. And you want to fill it up about three quarters of an inch below the rim of the glass because once this hardens you're going to have a dip in the middle where the wick is that you're going to have to top up. So you want to keep your wax at hand so that you can do this. So the next thing we've got are hardened wax, all very even. We're going to place it into a bowl of cold water. We're going to let it sit in there for probably an hour or two hours. Sometimes I just let it sit overnight. A couple of hours has gone by and now I'm going to see if my candle's ready. Here it is. And basically, often it just pops out on its own, but if you just gently pull it, voila, you have a candle. Now I just snip my wick off. Sometimes you can just pull the stick out, depends. You're ready to go. Voila, you have a candle. There are lots of different ways you can play around with this technique, depending on your creativity. You can actually layer different colors of candle wax, just making sure they dry in between. Um, you can take pots, like this one for instance, which is curved, so obviously you can't use it as a mold, but you could easily refill it, just put a new wick in and have it as a candle in the pot. Don't forget to check out our website, nailandrocket.com, where we'll be putting up new webisodes regularly with style tips on how to revamp your wardrobe. And if you have any questions, do email us.